Seriously, Konami messed up not bringing this to America. How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. Now, last video, I kind of teased that I'd be talking about the best thing that Konami never brought to America. And this is it. It's a 1991 shmup released for the Famicom called Crisis Force. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's a pretty straight-to-the-point premise for a game. Um... Aliens, or what we presume to be aliens, attack and destroy Tokyo. A set of twins, Asuka and Maya, they find out from their parents that they're not just regular twins. They are children found in an ancient ship of the Mu civilization. Um... And these monsters are from Atlantis. They are actually responsible for Atlantis being destroyed and being sank into the ocean. The twins, Asuka and Maya, are tasked with defeating these monsters, driving them back to wherever they came from or destroying them, and saving the world. And this is done by the twins using these ancient ships, these fighter ships, from the Moose Civilization. That's the twins. And the game is, storyline-wise, the game is pretty simple. You know, shmups, in most instances, the story arc for shmups is basically to justify blowing stuff up. And I'm okay with that. I've always been okay with that. As far as the gameplay, though, this is a masterpiece. When you're playing, when you're playing Crisis Force, you realize a couple of things. One, Konami did a lot of great things as far as sound design on the NES. But few things that they've done as far as sound design in an NES game compared to the music in Crisis Force. It's utterly fantastic. You also realize that the scrolling and graphic effects in this game are superb. Chef's kiss. Just beautiful. Except for the flicker and slowdown that happens in the game. But most of your best games on the NES the fastest moving more graphically taxing titles all had a bit of that flicker and slowdown um but this this game it's something that would have sold like hotcakes in the US even though shmups were always a bit of a niche even though you know Regardless of how many titles were in that genre, yeah, this game was fantastic. A um, couple of notes about the gameplay. This was a departure from what Konami did as far as shmup, as far as their other shmups, um, notably Gradius and Life Force. Instead of the system that was introduced in those games where you collect these capsules and it cycles through a list of the power-up options you have your ship has three basic three basic shot configurations and you power them up by collecting these red or blue crystals that you get from defeating enemies or or finding these capsules as well as speed upgrades you also find these little blue gems you collect five of those blue gems you turn into this big firebird looking thing that's basically indestructible for a set number of time but that time can be extended the more of those crystals you pick up 
um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting little power up mechanic. Um, also, this is the only one of Konami's shmups that I remember that has a bomb mechanic. Um, and each one of the ship configurations has a different bomb. So that's a pretty dope little thing. How does one find a copy of this? Well, my copy, <laughs> I got a multi-cart last Christmas. Um, thank you to Ariel for that. And yeah, I got a multi-cart and Crisis Forces on the multi-cart in addition to a number of other Konami titles that didn't get released here in the States, like Goldmine, um, Getsu Fumadin, the NES release of Kid Dracula, things like that. Um, you can't really, well, the cheapest option other than an emulator or a multi-cart is to find a reproduction cart of Crisis Force. It didn't get released in the States. And as far as finding a Famicom copy, yeah, you're gonna have a good time paying hundreds of bucks for it. It's a fantastic game, but I still haven't found a game from 30 years ago that's worth several hundred, close to a thousand bucks in some cases, because resellers are weirdos. But yeah. Crisis Force is a fantastic video game. It's one of the best shmups I played on the NES. Um, and it's an absolute crime that this game did not get a release during the original NES run. It's also a crime that Konami hasn't really put it on any of the anniversary collections or anything like that. But this is Konami we're talking about. And nowadays... They they kind of they kind of not doing too good for us as gamers. Um, so now, uh, initially I would have said no, don't go buy a repro, don't do that. Now, your friendly neighborhood eight bit animal, play these games by any means necessary. Get yourself a means to play it. Because this one's worth it. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. I'll catch you beautiful people next time.